In this topic, we are going to discuss a very interesting aspect of culture and human resource management. Uh, we are going to talk about the concept of human resource management in different cultures and how the concept of human resource management has been affected by various different cultures and what is the history of that. We usually talk about that human resource practices mein culture ka kya influence hai. Lekin hum ye baat aam taur pe humne uh, literature mein nahi dekhi ke uh, human resource management actually aapke culture se kaise evolve hui hai aur iska cultural meaning kya hai. Uh, so that is what we are going to explore in this topic. So uh, human resource management very much interestingly is also a social construct. Isko uh, humne socially hum isko human resource management kehte hain ki logon ko manage karne ka tarika, uske policy, uske procedures isko hum human resource management kehte hain lekin ye basically ek social construct hai. Ye koi tangible construct nahi hai. Uh, ek organization um, किसी एक तरह से अपने procedures को और policies को manage करती है वो भी उसको human resource management ही कहती है दूसरी organization जो है वो completely different तरीके से manage करती है वो भी उसको human resource management ही कहती है so it is a it is very much interestingly it is not a concrete uh, concept it is a social construct and it is not totally independent from the cultural values of the people who invented it. So, uh, it obviously concepts they are defined, conceptualized, and coined by people. हम खुद ही concepts को define करते हैं, हम खुद ही उनको explore करते हैं. So, जो लोग किसी एक particular concept को define करते हैं, उस term को invent करते हैं. Unki cultural backgrounds kya hai or wo kin cultural values ko importance de te hai that also needs to be seen that okay uh, their cultural values they have defined human resource management in this particular way does everybody else take human resource management in the same way that is something that we need to look at. Human resource management, as you know, that it came into being in the United States. It came into being from the literature and management practices of the United States. And uh, um, it came from their business system and as a response to the foreign competition. You know that human resource management used to be called personnel management. And personnel management, uh, that was basically considered by calculating the pays and compensation of uh, the personnel which was working in the organization. And it was not considered to be the management of a resource. It was considered to be management of a cost, which was the personnel cost. But then the uh, change in uh, paradigm shift uh, took place uh, in America regarding uh, managing uh, this, um, this aspect of the organization. And from cost to resource, uh, it was considered to be a resource and called human resource. And uh, uh, that was how human resource management that came into being. And therefore, the concept of human resource management, as it is written in the literature and as it is written in the books, it is something which bears all the harm, uh, hallmarks of the American managerial priorities. Um, it is opposed to basically opposed to trade unions and collective bargaining. Human resource management ka concept jo tha wo uh, introduced kyun karwaya gya tha because uh, jo American organizations thi, they were getting increasingly affected and influenced by their trade unions, by the collective bargaining. Employees jo the wo kathe hoke strikes kar dete the. Trade unions jo the wo pressurize karte the management ko ke hume hamare rights de uh, and uh, that was a response 
response to this particular influence and uh, uh, effect of uh, trade unions that human resource management was evolved ke hum organization ke andar se hi apne employees ko itna satisfy karke rakhenge aur inko utna uh, unko unka due share provide kiya jayega wo satisfied honge ke wo trade union aur collective bargaining ki side pe nahi jayenge so this was the basic concept of evolving and uh, coining human resource management so uh, uh, in in the american model of human resource management it would allow decentralization and human uh, employee empowerment and participation and that would eliminate the need uh, to act as the employees agents in collective bargaining so that uh, that is why you see that in the human resource literature there is a lot of importance that is given to employee empowerment participative leadership styles a uh, lot of importance is given to um, uh, to decentralization to delayering of the organization to uh, flatter organizational structures that is so that the employees they feel that they are participating in the organizational decision making and they don't have to go towards the trade unions and collective bargaining that is how the concept of human resource management it was invented in the americas uh from the americas the concept of human resource management then it traveled to europe and in other father countries uh then it was also introduced in other countries uh but it shows that as human resource management is considered in the americas and the basic principles of human resource management which are considered uh, the important values they are not they have not really taken roots in the rest of the world they have not really taken roots in europe and what to talk of other countries uh they are particularly not adopted by developing countries which have a widely diverse political systems social structures and business priorities and preferences so jo uh, american model of human resource management ka that um, actually um, for example recruitment ke ya selection uh, ke uh, uh, aspect ko agar aap dekh le to usme aapko ye nazar aata hai ki they are basically defined by the job specifications and uh, merit policy and all that but if you look at the culture of developing countries including pakistan india bangladesh um, uh, even china was a developing country a few years ago uh, they had and 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 the emerging economies of uh, the of, of the far east uh, they had a culture of uh, you know um, uh, of of uh, personal context they they had a culture of uh, uh, social uh, status they had a culture of in uh, of personal relationship in uh, conducting human resources to jo aapki selection hai ya aapki promotions hai they have all not always been uh, done on the basis of the defined set human resource principles or policies usme bahut sare logon ke references um, or personal context jo hain usme log they they are uh, concerned about obliging other people jaise for example indonesia mein uh, they, this is a culture that people who are at high places they are requested and obliged to Uh, accommodate their family members and it is something which is considered as a you know as as a cultural norm uh similarly in pakistan it is considered as a, cult a cultural norm that people try to adjust their uh, friends and colleagues and relationships close relationships in 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 places where they and it is considered to be a social norm although we uh, when we are writing about it when we are talking it in literature about it we do not acknowledge it but it is a cultural norm so it has not been particularly adopted in uh, in in the developing countries uh, a study was conducted on various different cities uh, countries of europe to understand how human resource management uh, was taken in those particular countries and uh, it was found that there was little 
a convergence of how human resource management was adopted by various different countries because their national culture it affected how they manage their human resource uh, how they manage their human resources for example uh, in spain there was little discussion of human resource management because spain was going through a financial and economic crisis and there were problems of redundancies and unemployment so jab unemployment hai to logon ke paas kahan se bargaining ki jo hai wo पावर होगी तो उनको जो मिलेगा जो उनको नौकरी मिलेगी वो उस पर नौकरी करेंगे और उसको आ, अपनी जो जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन है उसको पूरा करेंगे दे आर नॉट दे दे रियली कॉन्ट गो फॉर द ह्यूमन रिसोर्स प्रैक्टिस ऑफ सेटिस्फाइंग द एम्प्लॉ फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर पर्पज दैन इट वॉज फाउंड दैट स्वीडन स्ट्रॉन्ग कलेक्टिविस्ट कल्चर Uh, it counters the development development of a more individualistic orientation to employment relations again spain um, sweden jo hai that is also a country where collectivist culture is there people uh, they um, help each other they support each other they back each other so um, in in an individualistic environment where only you are concerned with your own uh, compensation and rewards and promotions that is a different thing but in a collectivistic culture you need to take care of people who are related to you so because of that you cannot actually implement that individualistic culture and that is why human resource management in sweden it counters uh, the values of the basic values of hrm then another uh, in another country the dutch feminine culture it encourages the antipathy of dutch employees to the hard hrm so uh, in 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 uh, uh, the dutch culture because it is a feminist culture um, it is a feminine culture not a feminist culture that is a totally different thing it is a feminine culture which values love nurturing helping supporting each other so they don't look at the hard side of the human resource management they do things in a uh, in, in a congenial environment in an amicable environment in doing things they 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 um, consider giving and nurturing others is more important then in germany it was found that institutional factors uh, in germany of the strong role of the unions and the formal consultative uh, structures they also attenuated the rise of the managerial prerogatives so germany mein there are already uh, there are um, structures which provide um, uh, grievance um, redressal and uh, that is why the management prerogative that is kind of uh, sidelined then in france the power of the patronat hinders the decentralization फ्रांस का जो कल्चर है उसमें इट इज इट इज़ अ पैटर्निस्टिक कल्चर इन विच अ लॉर ऑफ रिस्पेक्ट इज गिवन टू द पर्सन हु इज हु इज़ द बॉस हु इज इन द अपर एकलॉन्स ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड दे आर फॉर डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन ऐसी सिचुएशन में नहीं हो सकती जहाँ पर आप बॉस को बहुत ज़्यादा रिस्पेक्ट देते हैं वहाँ पर आप कैसे जो है वो डिसीजन मेकिंग लोअर लेवल्स को जो है वो एलोकेट करेंगे uh even in uk jo ke that is one of the most uh, uh, quick followers of the american culture and american values even over there many companies they have simply named their personnel department as the human resource management department and you do not see an actual philosophical shift in the way they manage their human resources so from this discussion uh, we we see that uh, it is not really a universal uh, fact that human resource management has to be done on a particular set of rules values and particular um, uh, preferences uh, there needs to be a fit between what is imported from abroad and the local environment for the adoption of human resource management to be complete and successful so uh, there comes the importance of national culture that according to the culture of an of a country human resource management concept will also be, be shaped 
people will not look at human resource management as you read it in human resource management books imported from the America. Human resource management is a social construct which is going to be affected by the national culture and values and therefore there has to be a fit. So when we are talking about international human resource management, international human resource managers, they really need to make sure that the fit is established uh, between the local culture and the imported values. Um, and uh, for that can be implemented by recontextualization of the human resource policies. Uh, that is not possible without re redefining and recontextualizing the human resource management concept. Uh, so that is uh, basically the discussion about how human resource management can be become a totally different context when the national culture is different from the other one.